Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're here with Dr. Dave, who's one of our favorites. And he's going to give us some tips on how we can lose some extra weight. Slay that extra weight. Slay the right. extra weight. Dr. Dave, we've all tried to lose some weight. Yes. Yeah. It's very, very hard. It so is, yeah. tell me, why is it so hard? Yeah, really, really difficult. can be very, very difficult. At the end of the day, it's all about calorie balance. We've heard yeah. this before, right? Yeah. Calories in, minus calories out. Right. We hear it over and over again. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. Yeah. One mm. of the things that makes it so hard is our bodies are actually designed to try to keep your weight exactly the same. Wow. wow. Ah, right. So we've heard of how when you lose weight, your metabolism slows down. You are hungrier. You're reaching for stuff you didn't reach for before. That's not your mind playing tricks on you. Okay. Is, that the, is that the same thing when they use the term homeostasis? Your body trying to establish that same... A, a homeostasis? Come on, time! Honorary MD, <laughs> I learned now, that in school, but That's yeah. exactly right. So there is a homeostasis. So you get yes. your body to a set point, if you will. Okay. I'll use that word when it comes to the homeostasis of your body weight. So it's just trying... And it's trying to get you to stay at that weight, wow. right? Um, and But at the end of the day... Your, your your metabolism doesn't get to win, you get to win. Because we've mm. seen people lose 100 yeah. pounds on Facebook and, and Instagram. Right. We know how to get it down, and we're going to talk about a few things to, okay. to okay. help you do that. Okay, so we're going to play a game today, right? We're it's called Slay and No Way. So, yes. you know, I'm ready. Yeah. You ready yeah. to play this game? I'm so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to read some of these sort of health hacks. Remember, okay. these are things in addition to your normal... You know, reducing the calories and increasing your exercise. Okay. That so you will quiz help us. you. I'm going to quiz you. Oh, okay. And if you okay. think that what I read off to you is true, you're going to put up slay. Okay. Oh, if God. you think it's not true, no way. Okay. okay. Got it? Got okay. your paddles? Everybody's ready okay. to go? Okay. All right, here's the first one. True or false? <laughs> Essentially true or false. Yeah. <laughs> listen. So when you eat your meals, eat your vegetables first. Eat your vegetables first. Play along with us. Okay, so we're right down the middle. Slay or no way? No way. Well, believe it or not, it's a slay. It's true. <laughs> really? It's true. Let's slay. talk about why. So it, it generally seems healthy to eat your vegetables, right? Yeah. We know that. Let me tell you why it's going to help you with your weight. So um, if we took uh, broccoli, we took a pound of broccoli. Okay. We took a pound of meat, right? That broccoli is bulkier, isn't yep. it? When you get that down into your stomach, the stomach is this fascinating organ that when it stretches out, sends a signal to your brain Done. I'm full. hungry. I'm full. We've all had that feeling before. Right. Right. I could put your favorite dessert in front of you. If you've done with, if you're done with Thanksgiving dinner, you're like, I'm done. Yeah. That's that signal that turns off. Vegetables in their truest form, right? You know, not really overcooked, but you know, kind they of raw, water. right? They, and they expand the stomach out. Mm -hmm. So eat your vegetables first. See, I was ah. taught to eat your protein first, so uh -huh. that you won't get hungry. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, right? Is, is it true that um, fat actually satiates? As yeah, opposed it does. to protein. Got well, it. so it, it does, and, and the reason for that though well, is that is it actually, when when fat stays in your um, in your stomach, it makes you fill up faster. Got mm. it. But you don't, you have more calories than fat. Makes Let's sense. do the next one. Let's okay. keep going here. Number two is drink eight cups of water per day to help you lose eight a little cups? weight. Eight cups. Eight cups of water. Remember this general <gasps> recommendation. I'll you go both with say it. Yes. slay. And this is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna, I'm it, gonna. It, this is, this is no way. This yeah, is no way. I, I agree. It, so the Institute of Medicine says 75% of Americans walk around chronically dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Right. 75% of us. Wow. Eight cups of water is less than two liters, depending on what you're doing. Selena, when you have those workouts, eight cups of water, it's less than two liters anything. is not no, enough no, no, for you. No, no. A pregnant way. woman, right? Somebody yeah. who's dealing with, you know, oh, yeah. ac you know, uh, uh, exercise. You've got to have much more water. Here's the deal. I don't drink enough. Right. You may not drink enough, right? Mm -hmm. Here, how can you tell, right? Because eight cups of water, no one size fits all. Eight cups of, uh, um, how you can tell is the color of your pee. Urine. The <laughs> color of your urine. Okay. If your urine is colorless or light you yellow, it, you're doing good. You're doing fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the second one. All right. Uh, the third one, not the second one. Third. <laughs> the, the other second one. Okay. Um, turn off your mobile devices when you walk into the bedroom to sleep. Of course. Yeah. All right. So this makes sense. Yes. How many times do we go? We're going to bed and we're flipping to that <laughs> last Facebook, night. Instagram, <laughs> getting that last Snapchat in, right. saying goodbye to everybody. Yep. Um, it turns out, we know this for sure, that when you have your mobile devices on and you've got a lot of screen time on while you're trying to go to sleep, you don't rest as much. When you don't rest as much, your body's you in stress mode, you have more calories, you make bad choices. 
and you gain more weight. Dr. Dave, can you please talk to us about the impact that this kind of stress has on the, the blockage of weight loss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because so, I think a lot of people think that it's just food, but yeah. I know that there's something related to stress. So, yeah, yeah, stress is a big one, and that's one of the ways you get stress, okay? Mm -hmm. So put your phones down, turn off everything, go to sleep. Okay. All right? Number four. Now, this is a tricky one. Getting sunshine will help me lose weight. What? Okay. Okay, context clue. She got this. She was like, he said, it's tricky. I'm going to get... Exactly. So this is about vitamin D. D we haven't yep. talked yeah. about vitamin D vitamin together. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. There's a lot of people with darker complexions that have vitamin D deficiency. You heard Absolutely. this before? Absolutely. Vitamin D is essential to keep things like cortisol. We heard of cortisol. Yes. One of those weight-gaining hormones. Mm -hmm. It's a stress hormone. Here we go. It keeps it at bay. If you have... Oh, you know, if you're, it, it keeps it at bay. If you have less vitamin D, cortisol yep. goes up, you gain weight uh, from more calories. My mother and, is and vitamin D deficient. deficient. Okay, uh -huh. everybody needs to go to their physician, get a vitamin D level, mm -hmm. and do something about it if yep. it's low. Yep. All right, yep. Yep. good. Let's go to the next one. Number five. We're doing really good. Oh, we're, we're doing, doing amazing. amazing. Oh, yeah. Right. I tell you that. Now this is this is this is strange. Right. Smelling your food can help you lose weight. E Smelling your food. Take it to us. Interesting. I thought you guys were going to go the other way. You guys are too smart for this. <laughs> well, okay. I was thinking if you don't like the way it smells, you won't eat it. <laughs> well, well think about, think about, let's think about Thanksgiving. The people who prepare Thanksgiving dinners, are they generally hungry or not hungry at the end? They're not they hungry. They usually don't want to eat a lot. Right. So it used to be believed that actually smelling the food helped you, you know, decrease the calories. You weren't as hungry. But there was a big study last year that showed actually not smelling the food led to less uh, weight gain mm. when you ate fatty meals. Wow. When you ate fatty meals. So <sighs> I'm going to give it to you, you know, both ways. It could be slay or no way if okay. you, you people out uh, in the audience actually. Okay. Well, Dr. Um, Dave, unfortunately, I wish we could sit here all, all day. day yeah. I, I love when you come here. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But um, we have to go. Yeah. Aww. And I know for more information on Dr. Dave's tips, go to Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. But up next, we will hear what you have to say about our show on what the people say up next. What they say, Selena? Child, I don't know. We're going to find out.